Hi parrot friends. So I hope you guys are staying safe at home and I'm missing you all very much. Okay, so today we're going to do some art experiences with paint and different other mediums that you can probably find at home. So we can just start off with some paint in some paper plates and we're going to be using hand paper rolls to start off with and mum could probably help you um, cut into them so you can make different little flaps in which to dip your paint. Um, you can do thin ones like I have here with lots of paint and thick ones. So we'll just have a go on, you can pick different sorts of paper as well. So I've got black here and white just because you can get different effects with the colour um, and I'm sure you'll love what you'll see. So we'll start off with the blue. So we'll give a good dip all around and we put it down and we lift up and that's what that one looks like. So we can even try a different one here with the thicker ones. Just remember to get paint on all your flaps. Take your time and we can see what this one looks like. Ooh. So there's that one. Now, I think you remember doing this um, for Chinese New Year in the beginning and everyone enjoyed it. So you might wanna do this again and make something else. So you could maybe pretend these are flowers. Um, yeah, and that looks really effective. You can also try with paint dipping cotton buds. That might be fun. So you get a peg and you clip it onto the cotton bud and you grab it. Oh, and let's see what happens. Hmm. So you might want to stick, say, a popsicle and pretend that it's a flower or you could stick it over here. So just have fun with it. You can even use different things you can find outside. That's a lot of leaves at the moment with um, coming into autumn and all the leaves are dropping. So you can even dip leaves and let's see what that will look like. I'm not sure, I haven't done this one before. Or you can try the spiky leaves. So just whatever you find outside, use different materials. Maybe you can do that sort of thing. And it can be the wind or it can be water. It can be whatever you want it to be. Other things you can use around the house. Um, if you're working with paint, you could use a plastic fork or if mum will let you um, use a real fork, just make sure you wash it and you can mix your colors you might mix greens and just play around with it to get different effects so you've got that scraping effect right there um what else do we have you could use string i'm sure mum's got lots of wool at home and you can dip that and see what that does so you get different lines so it's really good to play around with stuff guys and you'll make a really really nice artwork i will even use pencils and textures which i'm sure you have plenty of at home you can dip that if mum lets you and you might make flowers that way with little circles or you could draw a fish and the fish needs scales so you could do different little effects to make scales on the fish or bubbles that probably looks more like bubbles. So on white paper, on black paper, or all different colored paper, you know, um, you can make some really nice artwork and you can introduce other materials as well. So we've got feathers, which you can buy at Kmart, um, cake uh, patty papers, which are really good to stick on, cellophane, you probably have a lot of Easter um, cards that you got, you can cut those up and um, add it to your painting once it's dry. 
so you'll have lots and lots of fun for hours okay guys so um miss you all and i hope you're staying safe have fun